you're hoping for a natural or softer makeup look, especially during the hot summer days, reach for products with just a hint of tint. Today's style file is all about some of the best beauty by sure to enhance your look without covering up your best features. Studio 5 Beauty and Style contributor Megan Moore is here to recommend six products, in fact, that give just enough color and just a little bit of coverage. It's what we want this time of year. Yes, we want to lighten up just all around, just easy, fast, and just a little bit of coverage to enhance, but not to cover up. A hint of tint. A hint of tint. I like it. Let's start with our foundation. What could we be reaching for? Okay, this is the Dream Cushion Foundation by Maybelline and I have been wearing this the entire season. I'm totally obsessed. Have you ever used a cushion foundation? No. no. So it's a pot like this and it's got um, foundation that's already down inside of this little sponge right here. Okay. Okay, and then you're gonna use, a, it comes with a little sponge applicator or you can dip into it with a brush, whatever. Uh -huh. And it's got kind of a liquidy foundation in it. So it's just gonna give you color but not necessarily change the texture of your face at all. Oh my goodness. So you just dip into it and it's then just- It's like an ink pad for your face. Exactly, and then you just pat that right onto the skin. Oh. Oh, yeah. And it gives a beautiful coverage of color, but not necessarily going to change that texture at all. <gasps> I like that as well. I Isn't can see why you'd be obsessed. And direct placement, you know exactly where it's going. You can see where it's going. Exactly. You can see where it's going, and it's just thin and wearable, perfect for hot weather. I like that. I like that. Okay, what's next? So, again, this one is one of my favorites. It's actually called Hint of Tint, so I kind of had to use it, yes, right? Yes, you but did. But it is Billion Dollar Brows, and this is just a gel brow color. So it's going to give you a little bit of color, but not a lot. It mm -hmm. just comes in two formulas, a blonde and then like a universal taupe. You're going to use the little spoolie brush to put it on and it's just going to give you a little bit of color in your brows, shape them and hold them, but it's not going to be like an over the top glamour Instagram brow. Because even a light eyebrow pencil sometimes feels like too much, too much. during yep. the summertime. This is just going to hold it in place easy, like two swipes and you're done. Is that what that's really called, a spoolie brush? Yeah, spoolie. I didn't know that. <laughs> now you know. I'm learning so much today. Okay, for the cheeks. Okay, so these are some of my favorites. Again, these are a gel cheek color. The reason I love them is because it's a thin formula, super easy to put on. You don't need a brush, just pat it on with your finger. These are by Pixi and they come in three different colors and the colors almost look really bright, so you wouldn't think this is a hint of tint. Yeah, I'd be scared. But, like this one over here is almost like a dark, I mean, it almost looks black, but on the cheek, it's just a beautiful raspberry because it's so sheer and so uh -huh. thin that it just it just gives you like a little bit of glow in that like shade range, but it doesn't actually go on that dark at all. Okay. They're beautiful and they blend nicely. Yep, just a just a little dot on the cheek, rub it in with a finger or a brush, you're good to go. It's just a perfect little glow. I had a bad experience with cheek tint about five years ago. Oh, no. I think it had been sitting in my beauty bag for a few years, so that may have been the problem. Mm. <laughs> but I ended up with total clown cheeks that would not rub off no matter how really? hard I tried. Yeah, that sounds that sounds a little fishy. These are very sheer, and they're just gonna. Re I mean, you can even you you may even need to build these up to get oh. enough coverage. So okay. they look intimidating, but they're totally not. I might get brave and try it again. What's this? <laughs> okay, this is a, a cult oh. favorite. You know this one. What's this? This is only my favorite, hands down, my favorite <laughs> item in my beauty bag forever and ever. So this is High Beam by Benefit. It is beautiful. You know it. It looks like a nail polish. It does. Um, but it's actually an illuminator. So you take it out and just a few little dabs on the tops of the cheeks, uh -huh. down the bridge of the nose, blend it in. It's going to give you a glow, but not necessarily that blinding highlight that's pretty popular right now. This is really like its subtle little sister. Do you love this as much as I do? I love it. I've been using it for years, Me too. Me too. I still get questions about it. Yeah. The glow on the cheeks, on the apple of the cheeks, or up the cheekbone. Yep. It's amazing. So good. My favorite. Yours too. Okay, moving on to lips. Mm -hmm. Now, we've talked about lipstick before and how I don't love like a full bright lipstick. Right. I don't know, ColourPop must have been like listening to me because they came out with the ultimate. So these are the blotted lips. So it's like you put on lipstick, but then you blot color off. Perfect. The great thing about it though is it's a matte sheer formula, which is Two things that don't usually go together. Yeah, that counteracts. Usually sheer is glossy, but these are matte. They are amazing. So you put it on, and again, they look really bold and bright, but they're a lot more sheer once you've got them on the lips, and then it gives a matte finish. So it's just like perfect for lipstick that doesn't look like lipstick. What a genius idea, blotted lipstick. Yes, and it's so affordable too. Those are $6 a piece. Nice, amazing. nice. Right? Because you need all the colors you at do. that point. You so. need all the colors. Uh, $6 <laughs> is helpful. And finally? Okay, and last, this is for your eyelids. This is the Lid Lingerie by 
mix. I've got them swatched on my hand right here. It's just a beautiful swatch of color. So it's like, again, it almost looks like a lip gloss painted on, rub it in, it dries down so it's not gonna move, but it's just gonna give that beautiful sheer Pretty. swatch of color over the entire lid when you just want a little bit of color, but you don't need a lot of work for it. Uh -huh. Aren't they gorgeous? They are gorgeous. And the gal at the Sephora counter just last week was trying to talk me into like purple eyeliner or some purple eyeshadow. It felt too much, but that seems subtle enough. I, yeah. could, I could do it. Just one swipe, blot it in again with your finger, done. And it's almost like a peekaboo. Blink and you see it? Yes. <gasps> just a little bit of tint. Nice, nice. You'll be posting these on your website? Yes, they'll be on my website. And I've got an amazing giveaway. What's going I'm on? I'm giving away this entire collection of lip all the blotted lips by ColourPop oh, over wow. on my Instagram. Oh, wow. So head over to at Beauty Snoop and you can enter to win. That's a great giveaway. It's a huge one. I'm super excited. Dial for it. her up on Instagram. You should be following her already, but at Beauty Snoop, right? Yep. Is where you go. Thank you so much. Yeah, you bet.